So, Katie, why are you doing No Go Britain now? Well, Christian, it's less than six months till the Olympics and Paralympic Games. Uh, lots of people have been saying the eyes of the world will be upon us then. Uh, and there's a lot of hope that there will be a legacy, a real legacy for disabled people after the Games. And so we thought we'd take a look at what it's like now for disabled people, and particularly when it comes to public transport. And we've been pretty shocked by what we found out. Well, what did you find? Well, we've had lots of horror stories. Uh, disabled people have been in touch with us, and this won't come as a surprise to anybody who is disabled, but taking public transport is really tough in lots of parts of Britain. Um, for example, if you take a train, uh, Baroness Tanny Gray Thompson told us uh, that you have to book 24 hours in advance, unlike you and me who turn up and get on the train straight away. If you have problems getting on and off and therefore need assistance, you have to book 24 hours in advance, but even then there, that isn't a guarantee that you'll get the help you need. And, what she told us about was a story only a few weeks ago uh, and she says it's pretty common where she turned up at the train station and the train pulled in she was on it there was nobody there it was midnight there were no staff available uh, or around even though she would booked help and she ended up having to sort of push herself out of her wheelchair onto the floor of the train push the wheelchair off the train crawl back up onto the train and get herself out of the station and you know that may sound very shocking and surprising but it is not uh, unusual it seems. Uh, we've talked to lots of people, uh, disabled people, who say that they are very apprehensive, even fearful when they travel, and that the service is very patchy. And, and, and how much difference is there across Britain? I mean, is it much worse outside the capital where they're preparing for the Paralympics? Yeah, there, some disabled people would say there are problems in London, and clearly things like the tube, you know, much of the tube in the city centre is totally inaccessible to wheelchairs, although they're trying to change that. But yes, I mean, we travel to the North East. The law is very clear. It does say across the board that disabled people shouldn't be discriminated against when it comes to public transport. But we went to the North East and found 16 disabled people who were taking their local bus company to court because they're so fed up with their treatment. They claim that, you know, most of the, a lot of the buses aren't wheelchair accessible. If they are, they have ramps that are faulty. The drivers are badly trained, they say, and they're just fed up, so they're taking them to court. And in fact, in our, in our piece, we film, uh, we film one of them doing a journey, which is certainly not without problems. And you want help from the viewers. What can they do? Well, we do. I mean, it's a series called No Go Britain, and we are hoping to generate more and more stories and hear from other people about their experiences. We want videos, emails, anecdotes, suggestions about how to change things for people. Uh, it's called No Go Britain, and we have a Facebook page under that name. We're on Twitter on that name, and of course, you can also go on our website.